Hi LCC family, this is Sherry again, just doing some tutorials, trying to help you um, learn about online services and how to stay connected with family and friends from your devices instead of in person. Um, a really great tool that's available, I think on iPhones only, is FaceTime. Um, but there are other options. If you don't have an iPhone or your family doesn't have iPhones, there are other options to do this. So this is not your only way to do it. But um, maybe you want to see their face. You just don't want to. You don't want to just talk to them on the phone. You want to see their face since you're not being able to see them in person. Um, I sent Pastor Mickey a text just now and said, "I'm going to FaceTime you. Please answer." So let's see if he answers. Um, uh, on your iPhone, you can either just go to your contacts and FaceTime them, or there might be a FaceTime app on your phone that you can use to FaceTime them. But if you're in a text message, right up at the top, let me see if you can see it. Right up at the top, there's that little picture of Pastor Mickey and Glenda. And right underneath that is his name and a, and a little drop-down arrow. I hit that drop-down arrow, and right in the middle is FaceTime. <laughs> So I'm FaceTiming Pastor Mickey right now. We'll see if he answers. Come on, Pastor Mickey. Answer. <laughs> there he comes. Hello. Hi, Pastor. Well, hey there. <laughs> I'm doing a little tutorial here, and I just wanted to show everybody that they could see your face if they FaceTime. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so say I hi. I am in Ada, Oklahoma. That's right. Say hi to your church family. Is that the church family out there? It's going to well, be when I put it out on oh, when I put it out. Fantastic. So. Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. So good that uh, you're studying and learning, and Sherry's showing you a little bit about social networking and how we can stay in touch. And during these trying times, so this is just technology God's given to us to stay connected in the body of Christ. And isn't that wonderful? So, because relationships are so important. So, thank you, Sherry, for what you're doing. It's good to. Blessings to you. Thank you, Pastor. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay, the really cool thing about that is you can do more than one person at a time. For instance, the other night I got on a FaceTime video chat with my whole family, my sister in El Paso, my sister in Kansas City, and my parents in Arizona. And we talked for 30 minutes to an hour, and we're able to see each other's faces and see the kids and see the dogs and all of that. So it's the next best thing to being with them in person, okay? So if you do a, t a group text, you can video chat that whole group all at one time, and it'll be multiple people's faces on your screen. You can do that from your iPhone or an iPad or a Mac computer, okay? Now, if you don't have those devices, there is another option for you. If you have Facebook, you can go to Facebook Messenger. Now, Messenger is a separate app. You have to have it. I, I believe you have to have it. it. It coincides with, goes along with Facebook. So there's Facebook, and then there's Facebook Messenger, which is kind of like a texting device made for the Facebook community, okay? And inside Facebook Messenger, uh, here's a Facebook message I had to Pastor Mickey. And up at the top is a little phone and a little video camera. If I wanted to call Pastor Mickey through Facebook Messenger, I can do that. If I wanted to video chat with him or, again, multiple people, same thing. I would hit that little video camera and I can have a video face-to-face -face chat with Pastor Mickey Pastor Mickey and Glenda, all at the same time. Three or four people on the worship team, all at the same time. The only thing is that everybody has to have Facebook Messenger. If you don't have it, if you need help learning how to do any of this, my number is 940-465-4764, and I would be glad to help you. Okay, I can get you set up. As long as you have a computer or a smartphone, I can help you get set up with either FaceTime or or Facebook and Facebook Messenger so that you can video chat with your friends and family. There are other things out there too. There's Skype and Zoom. There are lots of opportunities and apps that you can use to help you to be able to see your family and friends face to face. So I hope that helps you. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.